Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in the Twin Cities, it's time for Minneapolis St. Paul Business Radio. Now, here's your host. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Minneapolis St. Paul Business Radio. I'm John Ray, and folks, this is, this is going to be a good one. I've been looking forward to uh, welcoming Lisa Carmichael. Lisa, welcome. Hi, John. Thank you. It's Great a, to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you. Let's talk about you and give folks a little background about you. And we're going to talk about mastermind groups in a second, but let's give a little background on you. Definitely. So I am a marketing, digital marketing guru. I have a marketing business that just develops strong relationships. And I've been doing this for about three years now. And it really, my business really took off uh, two years ago, right before COVID, because I was invited to a mastermind. And the invitation came because my husband's a veteran. And so being that I'm a spouse of a veteran, I was included in this mastermind. And it was the most amazing experience of, of my life. And so what do I do? I share tips and strategies to help business businesses help their online business, offline business using automation and duplication. You know, you said something there about developing relationships through digital marketing. And I don't think a lot of people put those two things together, right? I mean, they look at digital marketing as a way for to generate transactions, we'll call them, business as opposed to building relationships, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, it really is the way our economy is going. Everything is online and you really have to find a way to trust whoever it is behind the computer on the other end. And you realize that the person that's sending you a text or an email or on a blog site is a real person. That's when the comfort begins and that is a relationship. Got it. Um, so let's talk about masterminds. You talk, you said that your business changed dramatically when you got involved with a mastermind group. So let's dig into that a little more. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk about why you did it, how you got involved. I mean, what, what enticed you to join and then what happened? Well, I, funny story, it was an invitation. I actually applied to be in this program and was turned down. And then they reached out to me a year or so later and asked me to apply again. And I was like, yeah, no, not so much. I, I don't like being turned down more than once. And so I was encouraged to apply for it again. And I just figured, you know what, what the heck? And The military had this amazing program. It's called Bunker Labs. And we met once a week in person for two hours. And I was surrounded by amazing entrepreneurs. And actually, I would literally, I'd go on my break in the ladies' room and I would do breathing exercises because I was so intimidated by these entrepreneurs who were changing the world, literally. And what came from that mastermind was that I, I created my first webinar. I became a published author and I started my own mastermind. And my mastermind is basically the same thing as what I went through through Bunker Labs. It, um, it's just that it's being offered to someone who's not in the military. Hey, I figured if, if, you're in, if it works for the military, it should work for anybody any entrepreneur who might be stuck or struggling. So you're really bringing, uh, Lisa, the, what you learned about how to run a mastermind, how to make it effective. You're really bringing that to folks that couldn't get into the bunker lab just simply because they don't qualify because of the military connection, right? Yeah, basically, basically. And not everyone gets accepted, you know, even if you do have military background. So this is something that is meant for any entrepreneur because it really goes back to the mindset of being stuck. And I don't want anybody to be stuck. (laughs) Mm. What, what, 
so you started your mastermind group. I mean, what, what makes mastermind better? I guess is, is the question as opposed to, I know Mm -hmm. folks, um, have this, um, maybe, uh, picture in their head of the lonely entrepreneur, the struggling away. Right. So what, what, why take the time to be part of a mastermind group? Well, it kind of goes back to realizing that, you know, two brains work better than one. And when you have a group of 10 individuals, you're able to take under, hear what they're going through and what they're working through because it is it's very lonely as an entrepreneur and if you think that you could figure it out on your own you really you need the support of other entrepreneurs and my masterminds are always different because of the different people that participate because of the different personalities and that's what sets my group apart that's what i feel keeps everyone interested and everyone motivated because they are not only accountable for themselves, but they're accountable to all these new entrepreneurs or other entrepreneurs who are, who are successful or struggling. (laughs) Yeah. Just, it depends. Yeah, Yeah. I get it. So I'm I'm curious about that. I've heard this term a lot. Mastermind. Why, Why, how did, how did, how did these groups get that? term? What's the significance of the term mastermind? Well, I think it went, you know, it goes back to, I can't remember who the author was, but it was a concept of bringing minds together to -hmm. create a new mind. Mm. And I think the camaraderie of just looking out for each other. So even one thing that I ask of my mastermind applicants is I don't want any selling in the group. And what happens is that it just naturally um, happens because we are there to help each other. We're there to give value. Right. And it just, um, we're helping one another and it's not salesy at all. Um, I, I think that, you know, we can go to networking meetings and we can try and that's really what happened to me too. I would go to these networking meetings. I'd go to BNI groups and chambers. I belong to the chamber, and I would find that people weren't reaching out. And I was thinking, you know what? I need to teach people how to reach out, mm. and that's how this mastermind came. And then, of course, what happens is that law of attraction, where now after we talk today, John. We're talking about masterminds, and then all of a sudden, you're going to hear about masterminds all over the place. Sure. And yeah, and there's there are a ton out there. Pe- people want to work with people. People want to be with like minded people to help themselves and help others move forward. Folks, we're chatting here with Lisa Carmichael, and she is uh, not only a digital marketing authority, but uh, she's uh, really an advocate for masterminds and runs her own mastermind group. So and now is that group or groups? Do you have multiple groups and talk about, I mean, maybe this, the qualifications, do I have to, do I have to be pre-qualified or what kind of business do I have to have? Talk about that. Sure. Sure. So when I first rolled out this program, I had it all set up to meet in person. And of course with COVID I had to make a change that it was going to be online. Mm -hmm. And so I did two beta test groups in 2021. And each group, we had 10 entrepreneurs. And the one common thread that these 20 people had, these entrepreneurs, was that they were stuck and struggling. That they were looking for a mastermind. Like you, they wanted to know what was a mastermind. They wanted to know how could a mastermind improve their business. And so I took, we, we did two groups in yeah, 20, 2021. And now we're, I'm rolling out the program for 2022. So it's 
only I'm accepting applications. It's not a, you know, you're not signing over your life or anything like that. And you're, we are meeting online and you just have to have a business and it's kind of a serendipity kind of thing where it just works together. It's me putting myself out there and taking action. If I wouldn't have taken action and tried the two beta test groups, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, rolling it out and helping other people move forward. Oh, Does wow. that kind of answer your fan? Yeah, question? yeah, no, that's great. So, so uh, that's a pretty low bar, which is great for folks. They just have to own a business, right? And, it is. And yeah. it, so it's not really, you don't have to feel shy because you just started your business or it's small business. I mean, whatever, you, you think you're not worthy enough to be part of the group. Um, uh, you, you, you bring your expertise, your background to it, and it all works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of free resources out there and it it can be overwhelming when you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And through this group, you can discuss, you know, what is, what's, what's not working, what's working or what can you do differently to move yourself forward and being with another unique piece of this is we are meeting every week and most masterminds I'm, you meet maybe once a month or once a quarter and this with meeting weekly has a huge amount of accountability. Mm, Yeah, for sure. Um, so Lisa talk about how those meetings work. Um, people come to the meeting and what happens? Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm very respectful and the group is very respectful of time. So we do limit it to one hour. Because it is so important to just have that that in place so that they know that, oh, no, I'm going to be on this call. It's going to be two hours and I have to listen to somebody else's problems when I have my own problems going on. And what we do is it's that accountability piece that I mentioned. So each week at the end of the meeting, we share, we put it out there what it is that we're going to work on the following week. And we call it an I will statement. So next week, I will have this accomplished. And we take the word try out of our vocabulary because when you say, well, I will try to reach out to this vendor, trying isn't as significant as I will reach out to this vendor. And then moving forward to the following week, we come and we share what worked with our I will statement from the previous week. And of course, there's no judgment. It's, again, it's accountability. And the accountability is not only for yourself, but it's also the accountability to the group. Because if you say you're going to reach out to somebody, you want to show up and let the group know that that's what you said. You did what you said you're going to do. But again, there's no shame if you don't do it because it's so purposeful to discuss, okay, what happened. So it's friendly accountability is what I'm hearing you say. Very much so. Yeah. Neighborly account- accountability. I like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, and what it does is it just builds strong relationships with the members of the group as well. And Again, entrepreneurs need to move forward and help each other. So it really dismisses that competition kind of piece that we're not trying to compete one against each other or to one up another entrepreneur, but it's more about helping one another. And it's amazing what comes from that when you have that positive energy. So Lisa, what's the status of Let's say I've I've heard something here. I'm interested. I want to join. Or do, do you have groups that are forming now, uh, or are there existing groups that I can kind of get into the stream of, or do, is is it once a group is organized, it's closed? Or how how talk about all those factors there? Yeah. So right now I am still taking applications for the next group, and I will be cutting it off 
at when we reached 10 entrepreneurs and the it's very reasonably priced and there's not a lot of work that you need to do. There's no homework other than you doing following through with what you say that you're going to do. And shoot, what was the other question you asked? Um, whether folks can are able to join an existing group or is it just confined to new groups only? Yeah, no. Um, so this group is a three month program and then it will evolve into whatever is next. So my thought was, is that these people would, well, the current people right now I've grandfathered in from the previous mastermind group so that they're moving forward and it's just kind of an evolving revolving kind of thing so that if they they want to stay connected with this their group they can continue moving forward and be part of the next mastermind and it's really based on a quarterly concept so right now we're we're focused on the first quarter of 2022 and where these entrepreneurs want to be at at mm-hmm. the end of of March and then we will start it again April. <laughs> I had to think what month came after March. Yeah. So April 1st will be the next session. So every 3 months is what we're working on and then if they feel like it, it's a good fit, they can continue working with the group, but the group will always change and the lessons learned will always change because of the different personalities, because of the different value that each entrepreneur brings to the table. So right now people can apply. They can go to my website, which is my name with my middle initial R, lisarcarmichael.com. And there's a mastermind that you can apply for right now. And if you want to get in immediately, we're going to get you in because again, it's all about the value and what we can do to help you with your business move forward. And folks, we're here recording this show as of February the 7th, 2022. So if, if you're uh, listening to this show long past this date, just be in touch with Lisa and uh, to find out what's going on and what she's doing and what plans are for other groups that she might be forming. Lisa, this has been awesome. Um, thanks for the great work you do and, and, uh, uh, the change you're help helping uh, business owners make for themselves, both professionally and personally. Um, but let's get to the most important question, which is folks that have heard something that makes them want to be in touch with you. Tell them how they can do that. Definitely. So if you go to my website, lisarcarmichael.com, you can take a look at the mastermind. You can reach out to me. If you look at my blog, there are definitely some tips and strategies to help you with your, your entrepreneurial journey. And the there's a free download too. If you are looking for ways to monetize and scale your sales and profits that goes into it a little more in depth. And that's definitely something that we discuss in the entrepreneurship group. So it is called Epic Mastermind and, but you will find all the details on my website. That's awesome. Lisa Carmichael folks. Uh, she is an entrepreneur who organizes mastermind groups in uh, well, you're in you're here in the Minnesota area, but I, I mm-hmm. that's one thing I want to make sure of. So you will take folks because you do these mastermind groups online. Mm-hmm. You you will take folks from really anywhere, right? Definitely, definitely. My first mastermind, we had three entrepreneurs from Canada. There was one entrepreneur that was in the UK. And I, right now it's only been women, female entrepreneurs Mm -hmm. Being that I'm a mom. I've been kind of focusing on mompreneurs. However, this round, I do have one gentleman that is in the group, but there's just that understanding that, you know what, the, when you asked, are there any requirements? It's a matter of if you're feeling stuck or overwhelmed, or this person was just tired of working alone. Hmm. 
So it's that first step that may lead you into the next um, part of your journey. It could be the pivot point, like like it was for me. That's awesome. Lisa Carmichael, folks. LisaRCarmichael.com is where you can find out more information. Lisa, this has been awesome. And thanks again for the great work you do and uh, how you're helping folks out there. It's important I work. Am. I am. And I do offer um, scholarships, too. If you're just feeling like, you know, if you're that stuck, there's definitely if, when the, where there's a will, there's a way. Terrific. Great message from Lisa Carmichael. Lisa, again, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, John. Folks, hey, just a uh, quick uh, reminder and an ask. So Minneapolis St. Paul Business Radio is available on all the major podcast apps. Uh, We would love it if you would subscribe, but we would love it even more if you would share the show, share it with others and uh, get them involved. And it's not about me or Business Radio X. It's about our great guests like Lisa, who do great work and we want them to be found. So uh, if you could uh, help us uh, make it possible for them to be found and their work to be celebrated, we would appreciate it. So for my guest, Lisa Carmichael, I'm John Ray. Join us next time here on Minneapolis-St. Paul Business Radio.